Yeah. All right, so hi, how you doing today? Hi, I'm doing good. All right, all right. Well, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. How did we just meet right now? How did our paths cross? Um, you just came up to me, asked me if you're going to um, interview me. Okay, and what's the interview going to be about? About mental health, so what's my, I guess, my perspective of it. Uh-huh, and then what else? It was two other things. Of our feet. Uh-huh, yes, and then... And <laughs> oh, reflexology. Reflex. Okay. okay. And in terms of mental health, are there any like topics that you research that you like look into? Anything like um, that? Yeah, depression or you know like what you can do when you're feeling down, like meditation. Okay. Stuff like that. Cool. So, um, actually, the topic we're going to discuss today has a lot to do with anxiety and depression. Uh -huh. So that might be helpful for you. Maybe I can give you some information that's helpful. Okay. okay. And then, what about reflexology? Is there anything you? I'm not really. Okay. I'm sure of that. Okay, cool. So I'll be able to give you some information about that as well. Hopefully okay. that'll be helpful. Okay. Cool. So let's jump into these questions. Right. Um, what's something that you like that other people might find to be weird? And I'm using the word weird for a reason because it might not be weird to you. Let's say it's a hobby that you have. Uh -huh. What's something that you like that people other people might find to be weird? Um being alone. Okay. Yeah, they yeah, I like being alone, just okay. um, being able to um uh, spend time by myself, not feeling to need like anybody else's company and stuff like that okay. people do think i'm weird because of that they're like how do you like being alone uh yeah no i don't think so you know what i'm i'm, I'm like that too <laughs> at sometimes I, I like to be in small groups not mm -hmm. big groups I, I hate being at like parties and stuff like that but like small groups maybe like 10 people right and are by myself like i feel great in those situations um uh, has anyone ever made you feel weird about a body part or your body in general they told me, uh, well, somebody once told me that my shoulders could look kind of like broad for my body. Really? <laughs> I was yeah, like, they like, made me feel like, you know, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, am I really, my arms really that big? Like, yeah. I started asking my family, and they're like, no, you look fine. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but then I was like, you know what, no matter what, I still gotta love myself. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And that's the whole thing, as long as you can find that self love. Um, in terms of that, so is that something you kind of have control over now? It doesn't really bother you as much anymore? No. Okay. Yeah. How did you get over it? Like, just accepting myself even if like if i were to have like bigger shoulders yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that you know it's me it's my body i gotta love myself <laughs> absolutely that's the that's the main thing right <laughs> um if there was one thing you could change about yourself right and it doesn't have to be physical but if there's one thing you could change what would it be um i, I don't know I, I like i had people maybe, like getting uh -huh. more knowledge Okay, more knowledge. knowledge. So you want to be more knowledgeable yeah. on things? Okay. Yeah, because I feel like knowledge is power. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is so in so many ways, right? Right. Um. All right. How do you feel about your feet? What are your thoughts? My feet, mm -hmm. like the way they look, or no, in general, just how you feel. Are you? Do you like them? You don't like them? You're indifferent about them? You don't really no, think about I, them? No, I don't really think about them. I'm okay, so normal. you're kind of indifferent. Then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, have you ever gotten any compliments on your feet? Has anybody ever said you have nice feet or anything? Um, Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. And men or women? Uh, well, both. Both. Yeah, my, my, only my siblings say like your toe is long, but that's okay. about it. <laughs> okay. Um, in terms of like when you receive compliments, um, which ones do you receive better? Which ones feel better to you? The ones you get from men or the ones you get from women? Women. Okay. Yeah. And why is that? Why is that? Um, because I feel like sometimes men have other intentions. <sighs> Sometimes. And it's crazy. I just interviewed a lady over here and she said the same thing and, and maybe like all like 15 more of my interviews have said the same thing. So uh, it's it's sad when you hear that because it's like, guys, we got to be better at that. But it's all good because I want you to be honest about it. That's good. Yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts on if you started dating somebody who is into feet? Like if they like feet, what would your thoughts be? Like, would you be for it? Would you be? Is that not really your thing or what? for it i mean okay. i think i'm a kind of person who accepts anybody and try to understand why they like certain things you know <laughs> okay yeah because i mean you may have things that you like too right you want yeah. them to accept you for you yeah. so there you go um if you started dating someone when do you think is the appropriate time for them to bring up like things that they're into like that like when do you think they should say it? is it the beginning when you start dating or when you become official like what do you think um i think it's like in the beginning i think everybody be open up to like um well i mean it's to a certain extent of mm -hmm. topics you know obviously you can't tell them your whole life but yeah. there's you know you, i think you can tell them certain things like oh i like this i'm interested in this yeah i don't like this and i don't like that I yeah think that's very good in the beginning exactly exactly that way if maybe it's something that you don't like you can mm -hmm. get out and find somebody else yeah, right oh, why don't you tell me? exactly <laughs> <laughs> um how often do you get pedicures things like that me uh maybe like um every once a month or something 
Okay. Well, because it's money wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it does sometimes. I'm like, do I already need to get them done? Or, yeah. You know, right do now. you do you do your own self care? Like you? No, like, I, I go get. Them so done. you prefer to go get them? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, how often do you wear flip flops, sandals, things mm -hmm. like that? Well, like um, I wear flip flops at home every day. Okay. But when I'm outside home, I wear tennis shoes. Okay. Cool. Um, in terms of uh, how often do you go barefoot? Like anywhere? No, just in general, like it, at home. Oh, and <laughs> not really so I, so usually when you're flops. at home you prefer like socks or, yeah, or like house yeah, shoes or something yeah, flip okay cool cool all right no worries okay and now while you have you on camera can we see what your feet look like up close <laughs> sure okay let me get you to put, place your feet up here leave your socks on for a minute just place them up here both your feet oh. right here yeah no i haven't done my feet right now <laughs> it's okay and this is the whole the whole point of like the impromptuness of this because i'm catching you off guard right you have no time to get that's the whole point. <laughs> Extend your feet out towards me. All right, cool. And what size do you wear? Um, six and a half. Six and a half? Okay. And, okay, you can take your socks off now. Six and a half. Okay, and you, like you said, you haven't had time to get them done. Extend them back out towards me. All right. You haven't had time to get them done, mm -hmm. but they still look nice. Um, <laughs> so, what are your thoughts? Leave, leave them out for a second because we're going to go through a couple more okay. uh, exercises. Um, but what are your thoughts so far? Like, we're going through this interview... You just took your socks off. You showed me your feet. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, normal. Okay. I mean, I'm human, so yeah, exactly. We all have <laughs> exactly, and that's the. You know what? Because it's it's crazy, right? I get people who are like they're completely closed off to the idea. Yeah. I get some people who are open. Like the lady I just interviewed, she was like, "Cool." She already had her shoes off, but she was just like, "Yeah, come on." And so I get different types of reactions, right? Right. So let's talk about the mental health aspect, right? Okay. So have you ever heard of DBT before? Okay, it's called dialectical behavioral therapy, right? And so it's for people who suffer from anxiety, depression, um, and they suffer from not, not being able to live in the moment, right? Mm -hmm. So usually what happens to these people is they overthink things to the point where they think themselves out of a situation. Right. So let's say you have a fear of approaching strangers, right? You don't feel comfortable with that, whatever like that. What they would teach you to do is to go out and constantly put yourself in that situation over and over again, right? And what you do is when you start to feel uncomfortable and you start to feel like anxiety is you do a self-assessment and ask yourself, what's the worst that's going to happen in this situation I'm in right now, right? Mm -hmm. And if there's not a threat to your life or to your safety, you should proceed with the you know action that you're doing because you could experience like a good event, right, from that. What are your thoughts on that? Do you agree with that or are you, do you think that that's not true or how do you feel? Uh, I think I do agree with that. Okay. Uh, well, well, yeah, because, you know, people sometimes do get to feel com uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So they don't see with, you know, with their, with their, when it has to do with their mental health and stuff like yeah. that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it depends on everybody. Yeah, and, that, and, and the whole point of it is for you to, like, face the things that you're afraid of. Mm -hmm. So, like, you may be afraid, like I said, of approaching strangers or, let's say you have a fear of, like, being in water. You need to go out and do that over and over again so you can get over like that yeah, you fear. Yeah, you just gotta like go for it. Exactly. At least once so you can be like, oh, you know, at least I try. Exactly. And if it doesn't work, then it's just not. <laughs> it's not you. meant to be, right? <laughs> exactly. But at least you try. At yeah. least you can tell yourself in my mind, I tried, and you can take that and use that in other areas. So right. that's the whole point. Um, in terms of the reflexology, let's get into that. Now, you said you don't really know too no. much about that. Okay. So reflexology is a study of the different pressure points we have in our hands and feet. Mm -hmm. And these pressure points like correlate back to other parts of our body. So like through massage, acupuncture, things like that, you can alleviate stress and tension to areas of your body just through massage, right? So the areas that I'm talking about, they're called zones, mm -hmm. right? And basically, like I said, you can use oil or you can go see somebody who's on like an acupuncturist and you can alleviate stress and tension that way. What are your thoughts about that? Do you, is that something that you would be interested in or? Um, yeah. I mean, if you have time, I think that's actually some, like a good self-care. Yeah. In a way, you know, you're open-minded to like trying these things, see how it affects you in your life, if mm -hmm. it does good or if it doesn't change anything. Yeah. And yeah, you know, cause you never know. It's like meditation, you know, you, a lot of people are like, oh, it's not gonna help. When mm -hmm. you really try it, like when you really, really try it, yeah. it's like, you feel like, whoa. You feel a difference, yeah. right? Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah, I do believe that there's also like other like other things. And doesn't always have to be like when you go to like maybe game or such. Maybe also like just um, like a bath bomb, yeah, and candles, just yeah, you know, your own time. I think yeah, 
Okay, cool, <laughs> cool. Okay, and now, so with that, since we've reached this portion, um, how ticklish are you? Scale of one to 10. I don't know anymore because okay. I, I, you know, I got to a point where like um, somebody once told me like, you know, you're only ticklish if you're, if you let it, if you're thinking about it, if you are able to control it, you're not going to get ticklish. Okay. And I was able to like, I'm like, tickle me. And okay. I was able to like, like really control it and i was like you're you're kind of right okay <laughs> mine is crazy <laughs> so now i'd like to can we test it out on camera on your feet to yeah. see like how ticklish you are we're gonna start we're gonna go right to left and we're gonna see if you're still ticklish or not because you said you don't think so anymore right yeah because it's like i feel like it's mine okay matters. so we're gonna go right first mm -hmm. okay one two three and let me know if it's you don't feel anything nothing nothing I mean, no I you're not you're moving figured. at all <laughs> you feel a little bit but you don't yeah. it's not ticklish okay now let's try the left foot. Okay, one, two, three, and nothing. Wow, you're really not ticklish. Now, <laughs> now one should be more sensitive than the other. Okay, right. was it your right or your left? Um, I think it was my right. Your right? Yeah. What do you think it was on a scale of one to ten? Like, because you didn't say you you don't Maybe think like you'd be ticklish. Six. So it was a six. Okay, you didn't even move at all or yeah. whatever. So because you were thinking about it, right? You were yeah, thinking about like ah. Just like, you know, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. Now, I'd like you to go through a couple exercises real quick just to see if you feel any pain or discomfort, okay? So, can you put your feet close together? Okay. And what I'd like you to do first is to bend your toes over and make a fist. And tell me if you feel any pain or discomfort from that. Anything? Okay. Relax. Okay. Spread your toes. Tell me if you feel anything. Anything? Now, is it kind of hard to do? Yeah. A little bit hard? Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Relax. And then wiggle your toes for about 10 seconds and tell me if you feel anything. Any pain, discomfort? Is it cramping or anything? No? You're good? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So now, wrapping up the interview, okay? What was my approach like to you when I came up? Like, was it good? Was it bad? Is there something I can do to improve it or anything? Um, it was great. Uh, very polite. Um, very respectful. Um, upfront, quick question. You know, straight mm -hmm. to the point. Me, you okay. know, it's not nothing like, oh, well, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, I think it was great. <laughs> cool, cool. And in terms of the interview from start to finish, right, could you see how everything was going in the line? Did it make sense to you? Did you learn anything new from the interview that I just gave? Um, well, just what you um, taught me right now about okay. the uh, what, reflexology? The, yeah, reflexology. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that was about it. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't know if you have you ever heard of grounding before? Grounding? No. Okay, grounding is also a part of reflexology. It's for people who feel like when they're barefoot and their feet are like touching the ground, mm -hmm. they get energy back from the earth and it helps them feel more relaxed and at one with earth. Oh. The lady who I just left interviewing, she was actually doing that right before I came over. And so it was like, yeah, I had no idea. Like when I walked around the corner, she's like, I just got through walking like grounding right now. That's a part of reflexology too. So yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Now, the last thing I always ask everybody who does the interview, is there something that you can say to my channel in terms of a mental health aspect, something that you may have learned in life through your own personal experiences, like a life lesson or something like that? Um, yeah, uh, that no matter what like situation you're going through, like, I feel like don't always beat yourself up too much. Mm -hmm. Put yourself in the, in the same predicament twice when mm -hmm. you know you, you can like deal with this again, like, the time is right mm -hmm. i feel like if you beat yourself when you have no control of the situation you're just making your mental health like worse you know yeah so you gotta like be able to um talk to yourself and just be like everything's gonna be okay because everything is temporary exactly so yeah, that's, that's so true and that's what i tell myself when i go through stuff i think as a mental health like that is everything's temporary i see everything's temporary and so are we. So let's yeah, exactly. as much as we can. Exactly. <laughs> well said. Well said. Thank you so much. I appreciate you like stopping to do the interview with me. And I uh, hope you have a great day, okay? Thank you. All right. <laughs>